Hello everyone and greetings from Waldorf in Germany. My name is Christian Klein and I'm the CEO of SAP. Many thanks for having me as part of the Global Technology Summit. I'm happy to share some thoughts about how technology can empower businesses to become sustainable, inclusive and successful. Thank you to Carnegie India and the Indian Ministry of External Affairs for driving the technology agenda and highlighting the promise of digital innovation. For sure, sustainability is one of the defining issues of our lifetime. And it is at the core of what we do at SAP. We help our customers become intelligent, networked and sustainable enterprises. At SAP, we lead by example through our own sustainable business operations. For instance, by becoming carbon neutral in 2023 or moving to a fully emission free car fleet by 2030. And even more important, we lead as an enabler, helping our customers to manage their green line together with top and bottom line. Nine out of 10 warehouses globally are running on SAP. So we have the scale and transparency to make a difference. SAP is powering the, mo the world's most critical and energy intensive processes. Thanks to our technology, organizations can go beyond controlling their productivity and operating results. They can make climate protection measurable and promote sustainable business practices across the entire value chain from tracking the end-to-end -end carbon footprint to ensuring diversity, inclusion, and the protection of human rights. Now, let me say a few words about India. India is on a remarkable growth path and has rightfully linked sustainability with digital inclusion. Prime Minister Modi himself recognized this correlation. At COP26 this year in Glasgow, he shared his five-point program to combat climate change. Achieving 500 gigawatts of clean energy capacity by 2030 and net zero carbon emissions by 2070. The unique initiative of the Sustainable Development Goal Index in India is a groundbreaking path to ensure measurement and monitoring at national and subnational levels. And it is also a testament of what we at SAP strongly believe. You cannot manage what you cannot measure and digital technologies play a crucial role. The approach of competitive federalism in India is notable and replicable. The foundation of policy and program level initiatives has been firmly established. Now, Technology can catalyze their implementation and true value. In closing, let me say that sustainability presents a unique opportunity for us to create a lasting positive impact for future generations. We all need to work together to accelerate the transformation of our economies, deal with the impact of the climate change we have already created and bend the curve on global emissions. The time for concrete activities is now. Thank you once again for having me. I wish you a successful and productive summit.